Well, the Wall Street Journal is reporting now that the Department of Justice is getting ready to sue Live Nation, the country's largest concert promoter and ticketing website. The DOJ reportedly planning to file in the coming weeks, accusing the company of breaking America's antitrust laws. You might remember the November 2022 fan presale fiasco involving Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. And that's when the DOJ actually started digging into Live Nation's size and power and ticketing and concert promotion and also venue. News. Our business correspondent, Alexis Christophorus, has also been following the story and doing digging of her own. So, Alexis, tell us more about the DOJ and, and how did Live Nation break these antitrust laws exactly? Well, there's still a lot we don't know yet because the lawsuit hasn't been filed and uh, the complaint has not been made public, Kira. But what we do know is the DOJ started really taking a good hard look at Live Nation, the parent company of Ticketmaster, about two years ago when it had that meltdown regarding the Taylor Swift era tour tickets when thousands of fans said they were shut out, uh, couldn't get access to those tickets. And so that's what led to an investigation. Last year, we saw some executives from Live Nation uh, go before lawmakers on the Hill to defend the company. They've been saying for years now, ever since um, Live Nation merged with Ticketmaster back in 2010, there have been critics who say this company is too large and has too much of a hold on ticket prices, ticket availability uh, at these different venues. All right, so how will the possible antitrust lawsuit impact you know, all of the fans out there hoping to buy tickets from Live Nation? Well, I think fans are going to have to wait a while uh, to see how all of this plays out. We haven't even gotten the complaint yet. But what's interesting here is, you know, what is the end game for the government? Uh, certainly critics, um, competitors like SeatGeek, another uh, ticketing company, have said that that Live Nation has a stronghold on the venues, although Live Nation says it does not and that it doesn't control ticket prices or the amount of tickets available at a venue. SeatGeek's CEO went before lawmakers last year and actually said, yes, in fact, there are venues out there who fear, those that's his word, fear not being able to do business with Live Nation if they don't take on Ticketmaster and all of its rules. So some are saying or, or are calling for Live Nation to be broken up, saying that it has it's a monopoly and that it, um, it hurts antitrust laws here and they've broken antitrust laws here in this country. So I think the end game for the government would be to see a much smaller company, not only with transpar more transparency, but breaking up the company uh, uh, at, at, in the long run. So we're just gonna have to see in the coming weeks what this suit actually says, Kira. All right, we'll follow it. Appreciate it, Alexis, thank you. Yep.